Hi everybody. Today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm going to be making some delicious braised short ribs. Now this is a perfect holiday or any day meal. It's very easy to put together. A little prepping, you put it into your oven and you let the oven do the rest of the work. And it's comfort food at its best. And today I'm going to show you how to make it step by step. Let's get started. Now these are the ingredients that I'm going to be using today. Now these are my short ribs right here and they weigh about three and a half pounds total and they're nice and thick and beefy. They're going to be delicious. Now I've got some fresh thyme right here, a bay leaf, some crushed tomatoes, tomato paste, some dried rosemary, brown sugar, fresh minced garlic, salt and pepper, some flour. I've got some red wine vinegar, chopped celery, chopped onions, chopped carrots, and some beef broth. I'm going to salt and pepper my ribs really well. I've got my pepper right here. This is freshly ground black pepper. I think that it has a delicious flavor when you grind it fresh. I'm going to put some salt. Then I'm going to flip them over and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now you want to get all sides. Make sure that they've got plenty of pepper and salt all over. Okay, so I have plenty of salt and pepper on my ribs. Now I'm going to dust them with flour. Now I dust them well with flour because this is going to help out in giving us that delicious gravy that we want. And it also gives us that beautiful caramelization that we want. Beautiful crust. I'm going to wash my hands and then we can head to the stove. Now I'm going to be using this large Dutch oven and I'm going to put in some good olive oil in here. And I'm going to wait until it gets nice and hot. Now it doesn't have to be very hot. I've got it set on about medium. If I need to raise the heat up a little bit, I will, or I'll lower it because you don't want to burn them. You just want to get them real nice and gold. So I'm going to wait until this oil gets nice and hot. Now I'm going to put my ribs in here. You hear the sizzle? That's what we want, but it's not burning hot. Now you don't want to get them too close because if you get them too close, they're going to steam and you don't want to steam in here. You want to make sure that they're away from each other so that they can get a beautiful golden crust. So I'm going to do four and then I'll do the other four for about three minutes or so. And then I'm going to flip them over and I'm going to make sure that they're seared everywhere on the ends, on the top, the bottom, the sides, so that they'll be nice and golden brown. Look at that beautiful sear right there. See how it's nice and golden? That's what we want. Now I have four of my ribs in my big Dutch oven and I've got the other four right here in this cast iron skillet because for the sake of time, you may want to do this. So this is faster. Whatever bits I get from here, I'll be putting them into my Dutch oven. So I have my ribs nice and seared. Look at that. See how beautiful they look? Gold and perfect. So now that I have my ribs nice and seared, I'm going to add my onions. I'm going to lower the temperature a little bit. It doesn't have to be real hot. This is a good temperature right here. I'm going to move them around just for a little bit. Let them release their flavor in here. Now I'm going to add my carrots and my celery with some of the celery leaves. Look at these vegetables. They're perfect. So I'm going to make some room and I'm going to add my garlic. And here's my tomato paste. I'm going to move them around like this and let them release their flavor in here just for about a minute. Now I'm going to bring everything in together.
Now I'm going to add my crushed tomatoes. I'm going to move this around. Now, if you can hear the sizzle, you know that these flavors are being released beautifully into this Dutch oven. So it's been about two minutes and I've been moving my vegetables around like this and they're just perfect. Now I'm going to add my red wine vinegar. That's going to give it that perfect acidity that we want. Perfect balance with the ribs. I'm going to add my crushed rosemary. You can add fresh rosemary in here if you want. Here are my fresh sprigs of thyme. Now I tied it up like this with kitchen string. This way it's easier for you to just get them out instead of having them all floating in there. And I have one bay leaf. I'm going to move them around. I have my brown sugar. Now the brown sugar is going to be a perfect balance with the acidity of the tomato paste and the tomatoes and the red wine vinegar. Now I'm ready to add my beef broth. If I need a little more, I'll add a little bit more. Now I'm going to raise my heat a little bit, medium high, and I'm going to wait until this comes up to a boil. Now it's just coming up to a boil. Before I go into my next ingredient, I wanted to show you the red wine vinegar that I used. See, I get it at Kroger. You don't have to get anything fancy. It just says red wine vinegar and you find it right there where your vinegar is. And this is the beef bouillon that I use to make my beef broth. This is my favorite. I love the flavor that this gives this dish. But you can use better than bouillon or whichever you like. Now that it's coming up to a boil, I'm going to lower the temperature a little bit and I'm going to taste it one last time before it goes into the oven. See, you want to make sure that it's got just the right amount of salt. Oh my gosh, this is going to be delicious. I'm going to add a little bit more pepper. And I'm going to add a little more salt. And that's going to be perfect. Now I'm ready to put in my last ingredient. And these are my ribs. You want to get them all in there nice and snug. And here's the last rib. Get that bay leaf in there. Now I'm going to turn off my heat because my Dutch oven is going into the oven. I'm going to replace my lid and I've got my oven set at 350 degrees. I'm going to put it in the center rack for two to two and a half hours. You want to make sure that your ribs are just falling apart tender off the bone. So I will check them. Now at least twice during that time I will skim off some of the fat. So I'm going to put these into the oven and let the oven do the rest of the work. So my braised short ribs are ready. It's been exactly two hours and 25 minutes. Let's take a look at them. Look at how beautiful they are. So now it's time for me to remove my thyme. See how easy it is when you tie this them up? This would be a good time for you to just go ahead and remove the bones. Look at how easy they'll come off. See? So I removed all the bones, the bay leaf, and the thyme. Now I've got some garlic, butter, and onion mashed potatoes that I made while my ribs were in the oven. Now it's time to serve. it's time for the taste test. I've been waiting for this taste test all day. Mm. Out of this world delicious.
You can serve it with any kind of bread that you like. Mm. This is absolutely out of this world. Comfort food at its best. Now you can serve your beef short ribs with rice. You can serve them with mashed potatoes like we're having them today. You can serve them with polenta or you can just have them alone with bread. So these are my braised beef short ribs. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you.